Hello all. Had to come pile brush today up here on Chavez's side. Here's Chavez hobbling away. Here's his back. His gooch ass crummy. Old bosses. Well, I guess third favorite. Third favorite. He gets all the fancy stuff. Actually, you see that machine he's running? It used to be my 325. But then they decided they're going to put a freaking GP head on it. So now Tyler gets to process and load logs. That's why he's the favorite. Say hi, Chavez. Hi. <laughs> All right, well, this is the machine I had to run today. It's a self-leveler tiger, tiger cat. It's a LS855D. It's pretty neat, pretty neat machine. This little hill here, which actually isn't too steep. It isn't really too bad in those 325s, but it's it's like nothing for this thing at all. It's, it's, it's kind of scary, the places you can go in this. It's got the single bar grousers on it. It's uh, all enclosed, all the motors all can't even freaking poke a stick in there which that's the point I'll uh I'll come up here and I'll show you guys where to check the oil at in case you do need to run one of these it is freaking hard to find this oil dipstick so might as well show you it's pretty neat these little to open up your motor bay to do a video and show people pretty neat it's got this uh it's a FPT motor it's made in Italy, I do believe, and it's a 6.7 liter. It's got 219 horsepower. Well, here's your dipstick, hidden up underneath all that stuff. So first time I ran this a uh, couple months back, whatever, I couldn't find that thing for the life of me. I had to get on the radio and get a hold of someone who's ran one. That's what the freaking dipstick was. So that's how you check the dipstick. It's got this fold down step there, exhaust. You see, it's got. All the DEF goodies and all that stuff are in it. Pretty neat with all the pins, you know, and stuff so your door won't come open, but you can... And your little handle doesn't mess up or anything like that. I'll climb inside of her. I don't want to start or anything. Tyler, you still got to do fire watch, so... Alright, you see it's got these three zert fittings. Don't forget to grease those. I think they're down in... The gully of the the monster down there. I'm gonna climb up here. It might might get shaky. Okay, here's the cabin, the fuselage. All right. When you first hop in one of these, turn this button off. Turn that off. It's just got the night switch, so you have to turn that on. Start it up, and then it's got a warm up mode. Actually, I guess I'll show you guys the screen here. Kicks on Tiger Cat. And uh, yeah, this ER mode. First thing you do, that button. Wait. Actually, I guess it has to be running to shut it off. But make sure and turn that off. That ER mode. Okay, sorry for the interruption. It's got a Bluetooth stereo. It just linked to my phone, so I had to start the video over. It's in a. It's a Jensen, and uh, like I said, it's Bluetooth, so it hooks right to your phone, which is freaking awesome. And uh, you know, younger days. I, I always thought Jensen was kind of a cheaper brand, but man, that thing right there, holy heck, that thing, that thing freaking rocks out. You're up there swinging brush or, you know, if you're out shovel logging it or anything like that, you throw on some metal music and you know, that or some of that boppy club banger stuff. And it's like a freaking dance party in here. I mean, this thing is really good bass, super, super good stereo in this thing. Okay. It's got a fire suppression stuff, pull the pin, push that. Same thing, pull the pin, push that in case you're on fire. It's got AC, all that. And here's how you do the leveling. This here is forward and drops the front down. This is back, what drops the back down, lifts the front up. This right here, whatever is left side down, right side up. This is opposite, left side down, right side up. Okay, it's got a, another door here you can kick open. Man, you can see my crummy there. I still haven't come up with a name for that. You guys were supposed to help me find a name for that. The old beater. All right. It's not an old beater. It's actually a really good pickup. All right, let's hop out of here. There's the cab over. It's got the old emergency hatch in case you go down. Oh, yeah, I got to turn my key off. So that's the night switch there in this ER mode shut that off what the ER mode does is instead of pulling 
you know, say this one here's your jib boom this is your main boom when you pull back on them right you just pull up on the jib boom and it brings the main boom back to is that er mode and it's uh it's super fast i'm not used to it at all so i just shut that switch off it's it's freaking nuts i yeah way way fast faster than you can, faster than you can shake a stick at all right door closed all right it's gonna rain so i put the hood down already i'll uh I'll open this door and show you guys the kids. All right, yeah, spilled my diesel. Oh, dang, the tank's up there because the hood lifts open. And uh, yeah, I got one of these freaking green handles there. There's my old one, it broke. So I got one of those that's supposed to kick off. And it didn't kick off, it just kept dropping out. Climb up here, same thing. Swing the pin. See, it's got a step here. And once the hood's open, you know, you put the step down, you climb in there, and you go up there, you check your water and your hydraulic check stuff's over there. Like, I don't know if you can see that or not. And uh, if you have to hi add hydraulic fluid to it, it's like this old timber jack machine we have. You gotta put the five gallon bucket down on the track and then sit here and pump out of the bucket into the hydraulic tank. It's all a closed system, I guess. Up there's all the DEF goodies, all that fun stuff. And uh, yeah, you see everything's pretty well caged in here. This machine has got fairly low hours on it. It's a little, you know, scratched up. There's a little, a couple little binks, dinks, I can't talk today, a couple dings, but for what these things do, it's, it's actually in pretty good condition. Set the pin, and boom. All right, another thing I think is pretty neat about these Tiger Cats is this rail right here. It's pretty awesome when you're swinging around, whatever, you know, you don't rub your back, which it, it still rubs a little bit, but this right here pretty much takes the brunt of it. It's pretty neat, pretty neat. All right, I didn't really want to do too long of a video or anything like that. I just wanted to kind of show this machine off and you know, I'll probably do another one on that old girl one of these days and uh, but I figure it's been a while since I did a video talking about stuff I work with. So, all right, hopefully you enjoyed. If not, then it sucks. Sorry for wasting your time. But uh, if you like that, that hitchhiker guy, smash, smash, smash that like button. <laughs> awesome. Thank you very much. Stay beautiful.